currently work full time for a company called Note Machine ATM in the UK. Um, my, my position is Group Head of uh, Network Security and Resilience, which involves 98% of my time performing penetration testing internally and externally for the organisation. I had noticed that the CEH programme was appearing on a lot of uh, job adverts uh, in the cybersecurity and penetration testing fields. Um, so I decided to investigate it and having done previous training um, with the OSCP certification, I noticed that the CEH programme offered everything that was required for a penetration or cybersecurity role in the industry. Um, so I, I investigated it, found that it, it was exactly what was required and I needed training for the organisation um, to move me into the new role of the penetration testing technical role and so uh, we use a company in the UK called IT Governance and they were offering the CEH uh, theory and practical training and so I did the theory and the practical training with IT governance. Uh, the CEH programme enabled me to move from a managerial position where I was in, uh, in control of and responsible for ISO 27001 and other compliance and the company needed a more technical hands-on penetration testing uh, function within the business and the CEH programme enabled me to move into that position, to get the, 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 the required skills to move into that position. Within my organisation, CEH is very highly uh, regarded as that was the uh, the, the programme chosen to enab give, enable me and give me the skills to move into the penetration test, testing role that they wanted me to, to, to move into. Um, the the organisation funded it for me and so you can see that they thought that that was a, a very beneficial programme. Um, in terms of the industry, in the UK there's something called Crest Accreditation that if, if you're going to do any work for the government or for the Ministry of Defence, they require crest, crest accreditation before you, you're allowed to, or you're awarded the contract for the work. Um, so, the Crest provides its own training, but also, if, if someone has done EC Council training, such as the CEH programme or the CPEN programme, Crest will award Crest accreditation based on that CEH or CPEN training and so I think that shows that uh, the CEH programme and the other programmes with, with, that the EC Council offer um, are high, getting more and more highly regarded in the industry. Since the CEH programme contains all of the required skills for all the, the, the parts of the penetration testing process I use most of what I've learned on the CEH on a daily if not weekly basis. Um, for example, last week I was pen network penetration testing part of our network in Germany, scanning the network, looking for hosts. Um, I came across a number of printers which, which using skills on the CEH programme I, I was able to enumerate and extract information from the printers. Um, the previous week to that I would have been pen testing our Wi-Fi network Again, all these skills are, are, and the tools um, that, that you need to do this are taught you on, on the CEH programme. The theory is taught as well as the practical. And this week, uh, I'm penetration testing our corporate websites. Uh, again, the web application testing and website testing is fully uh, detailed in the CEH programme. All the skills are taught. And if you do the practical, parts of it, you get the opportunity to practice the skills in a real life environment. Even though the CEH programme covers all the theory for the whole penetration testing process, the theory is covered, the tools are shown, it, it, it also has a quite a strong practical section to, to, the, to the course. Um, you, you're allowed to um, log into real world systems and practice exactly what you've been taught on the programme. I think for me, 
this is the an essential part of the program and my favorite part you get taught the theory you read about it you're introduced to the tools and then you're allowed to uh, practice what you've just learned in a real life environment which is to me is crucial and an invaluable part of the course to anyone thinking of embarking on a career in cyber security or penetration testing get some training get the theory behind you learn the skills read about the skills learn the tools but then practice 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 you need to get a lot of experience um, it can be frustrating it can be difficult um, but if you keep keep at it keep practicing keep training take all the training you can get a lot of real world practice such as is offered on the ceh course um, because it can be very very rewarding and it can be an excellent career to move into. Thank you.